This one's peanut butter. It has peanuts in it. This one is sunflower seeds, but it's cooked in peanut oil, so I can't have it. And this one, this has, um, this is almonds. You know, he is anaphylactic, so if he eats or comes into contact with a peanut, he can go into anaphylactic shock, which is basically where his body shuts down and his airways close up, and he can have hives, he can have it just in his, you know, it's not always visible. Tomorrow, the next couple days, about how um, possibly introduce get two different variables with him, but one is she went on bed rest early. So she children that are at risk for developing peanut allergy, children that have egg allergy, or severe eczema, if peanut is introduced early into their diets between four and 11 months of age, these children are less likely to develop peanut allergy at five years of age. Uh, and this was shown in both children that had no sensitivity to peanut when they were enrolled, as well as children that had a tiny bit of peanut sensitivity at enrollment. This is the first time we've really shown that we can actually modify the development uh, of a food allergy. Oh, Her yeah. finger is usually right by the nipple. Like, hello. And she's, I'm like, it's, what are you afraid it's going to slip? And you should <laughs> stick something in right away. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I think that actually, like, I was talking about this with Steve, and I think that's a cutoff point. Teeth and when they talk. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Can I have boot, please? For sure. <laughs> I said it could be da it could be potentially dangerous. Yes, it could be potentially dangerous if you had a child with egg allergy or uh, eczema or uh, you know from you know mom or dad allergic and gave peanut early on. It could be dangerous. Take it and I hold it in my thigh for 10 seconds and then I take it out.